Hello dear student welcome to my youtube channel So in this video we will see a practical number 7 of computer application in pharmacy a subject code BP 210P So this is the seventh practical and it is related practical uh, for understanding of an seventh practical you should have done fifth practical and sixth practical which is often uh, patient data gathering in MS database it was a fifth practical and sixth practical it was uh, about how to view delete modify uh, patient database in MS access and now this third practical related with MS database is that generating a report and printing the report from a patient database so in this video i will show you demo how to uh, generate a report and print the report so like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates in earlier practical we have seen a patient information in the fifth practical we have seen about patient information in the description box i have given the link of earlier practical fifth and sixth uh, so in the sixth practical we have seen how to view the patient data how to modify the patient data or how to delete the patient data and how can you replace a patient data uh, in this video we will see how to print the patient data so for that purpose you can you have to open the access which uh, you have formulated in Uh, means if we have entered the patient data in practical number fifth, uh, so already we have done that practical. So same patient information that I have and same data file that I have. Just click on write and uh, then you can open the file and you can see that in earlier practical we have in enrolled this data in this data sheet. Now, now the task is that in this data how to import it or how you can. Uh, print the data sheet uh, of this data so we will see that for that purpose in the main uh, menu bar you can see the options so uh, once you click on the report wizard uh, see here which fields do you want in your report uh, you can choose one by one or you can choose all the fields that you require so suppose say uh, for only uh, first name of patient Uh, last name of patient middle name of patient so there is no need of uh, date of birth so i require one more that is uh, say suppose uh, it was a gender uh, just a minute i will click once again first name uh, after that last name middle name uh, after that uh, next i require it it was gender uh, after that i require consulting doctor and doctor referred so these are only the fields that i require you can choose all the fields if you require uh, if you want to remove the fields then you can press this arrow uh, or if you want all the fields that should be removed you can press this uh, double sided arrow so i will press on the next so these only fields that will come in the report of an print uh, after that you can see that uh, if you want to add any option uh, you can come back once again or just click on the next now these are the fields that i have chosen so just click on the next and what in what way you want the data so first should be uh, like uh, consulting doctor for convenience suppose uh, if consulting doctor is required so you can put that uh, after that first name uh, i will and after that last name and after that uh, middle name so there are only four fields that you can choose as per ascending or descending order for descending you can choose this uh, it will come on descending and as such by default it is coming and ascending so just go on the next so first field that will come it will be a consulting doctor after that first name last name and middle name of the patient so just click further and in what you what type you want the uh, form means what format you want layout so i will choose tabular by default it comes tabular uh, if you want a landscape or if you want a portrait so you can choose it so just i want a, a, a landscape uh, so i will choose now next and once i choose the next then i will finish it now here is the data that you can see uh, so this is the data that you can see 
and uh, if you want to change some page setup or uh, you want to change it or uh, if you want any such kind of a format either you want excel or you want a pdf or you want email or some more formats are there so just i will uh, click on the print option as such when you will have an exam or completion of a practical so you have to submit this data uh, for a practical examination purpose or uh, you have to paste this data by taking a print uh, in your manual so i will click on print now Uh, so now my printer, uh, I'm not having now right now printer, but I just want to save it uh, as a PDF. So I will just save it as a PDF, then uh, press OK for it. If you are having a printer over here, I'm not having a printer right now connected. So I will not choose a printer. So just press on OK, so it will print. And once it has been printed, uh, means once it has been available, I will keep it on desktop. You can keep it at your a destination folder wherever you want now this is the pdf that i have got about and patient information so as per our convenience we can select which should, column should be first which should be next so we selected consulting doctor first and then first name last name and middle name so only four columns can be modified if you are having any doubts about this practical, you can comment me in the comment box section. So thank you for watching the video.